Many times school has been hard for me. I didn't do very well in high school. I was filled with a lot of doubt. I used to be really fat, and they always used to call me names, and they pushed me, you know? And it was just bad. Sometimes I feel like I need help doing homework. You might get a little frustrated, and after a little while, you might just want to give up. My teachers sometimes even told me that I wouldn't pass. I was like, I might as well just, you know, just quit. I used to be bad in elementary. I got into a fight, and then I got in trouble. I can't play sports. I was surrounded with people who just, they were, they were fine with mediocrity. I was extremely vulnerable, and I felt I was kind of, kind of doomed from the start. I didn't have much of a choice. That was my environment. On the surface, Central Texas has a robust and booming economy. On the other hand, we lose hundreds of millions of dollars a year to students dropping out of school. When I look at numbers, I see there's a gap between Caucasian students and African American and Hispanic students. And I don't think it's an academic gap, I think it's an attitude gap. I think it's a gap in how our young men are treated when they have different issues and what they're going through. A lot of times people have a negative view on them, being kids of color, because of where they come from, what zip code they live in, where they grew up but they are as smart, as intelligent, as bright as, as any kids from, from anywhere. We want to make sure that we are removing every barrier that we can from a child's life so that when they are ready to say, this is what I want for my life, they're able to accomplish whatever it is they set out to. We as educators, we have a lot of great programs and a lot of great ideas, but the number one thing that works to motivate young men of color is relationships. To have adults who could have guided me and pushed me to go to college, uh, would have been nice. The teachers, they try to make us better. And it's like, if I don't have help, they tell us, like, you come out to school, I got some time. There are people that are, like, outlets to give me advice on how to get through what I'm going through. When I see adults who are nice to me, it does make me want to, like, grow up to be nice to other people, too, because they're putting an example for me. I think I do a way better job when I feel that people care about me. I can feel their vibe and know when they're doing something nicer to care about me. My coach. He tells me, don't get an attitude. And so he made me step up, and then he tried to push me to my limit. It really helps me out.